In this example, we're again given two simple statements. P is the statement, you're hurt. Q is the statement, use a bandage. We're going to take each of these symbolic statements and rewrite them in words using the two statements we're given. The first one is P implies Q, or if P then Q. So we can quite simply write that if, and then replace P with the statement you are hurt, then Q, you use a bandage. For the next one, similarly, if P then not Q. So we could say, if you are hurt, then you do not use a bandage. Or we could say, when you are hurt, you do not use a bandage. Notice that we negated Q. And this emphasizes the fact that we can often write different equivalent statements in English, but there's one way to write them symbolically. So instead of using the word if, I use the word when, but it's the same statement. I could also say you don't use a bandage when you're hurt. I could reverse the statement that way and put the condition at the end of the statement. We'll do that with the third one, for instance. This says not P implies Q. So if you are not hurt, you use a bandage. So let's turn it around. We could say you use a bandage if you are not hurt. Again, we can put the condition first and then the implication, like in the first one. If you are hurt, then you use a bandage. Or we can reverse things and say you use a bandage if you are not hurt. But either way, the logical statement is written the same way. The condition always goes on the left, then the arrow, then the implication. So there's one way to write things logically, but in English we can write them many different ways. For part D, Q implies P. That means if you use a bandage, then you must be hurt. And finally, for not Q implies not P, or if not Q, then not P. So that would be not Q is you do not use a bandage. Not P is you are not hurt. Therefore, if you do not use a bandage, not Q, you are not hurt not P.